Hey, did you know that the U.S. throws away about 15 million tons of textiles every single year? I'm Liz from No Trace and in this video I'm going to tell you 10 easy ways to keep textiles like old clothes out of the landfill. So let's go. Okay, number one is to buy less stuff. So buy fewer clothes and textiles for your home and that'll help you create less textile waste down the road. And when you do buy things, try to buy quality things and take care of those clothes and home, home goods so that they'll last you a while. Number two, buy secondhand clothes whenever you can. A lot of clothes that get donated to uh, secondhand stores that doesn't sell is going to end up in the landfill. So try to buy secondhand clothes and home goods whenever you can. Number three, buy from companies that recycle their textiles or use recycled materials in their products. So companies like Patagonia, Eileen Fisher, and Tonelay Designs use recycled materials and also take back some of their old clothes and recycle them into other products. Number four, buy all natural fibers for your clothes and your home goods whenever you can. And the reason is that all natural fibers have a better chance of being composted at the end of their life than synthetic fabrics, which you cannot add to your compost. So try to avoid those synthetics like polyester or certain blends of fabric um, that don't have a great sort of end of life prospect. And on that same note, try to buy organic materials whenever you can over um, non-organic, especially for cotton. Number five is to repurpose your old textiles into something functional like an upcycled bag or maybe a quilt or maybe a cute little fabric bin to hold your things together. So try to find some way to give that old fabric, that old t-shirt new life. I have a video that I'll link to here and I'll also put down below on how to upcycle denim into a really cool zipper pouch. Number six is find a fabric recycler near you. I'm going to link below to two different fabric recycling options. Um, one of them is terracycle.org which will recycle fabrics for you for a fee and the other one is smartasn.org. Again, they'll be linked below and those are two good resources for recycling fabrics. And you might have something in your community. I know that certain cities like San Francisco do curbside fabric recycling, which is amazing. But if you don't have that, there are some good options for recycling textiles online. Okay, number seven is find a local artist or art school or even an animal shelter near you who's looking for old um, fabrics and old textiles to use for different projects. Um, some animal shelters will take old towels and sheets and pillows and recycle them into beds for um, fostered animals and animals at the shelter. Number eight is to repurpose your old t-shirts and clothes that are stained and a bit too worn into things like dust cloths or rags or um, little scrubby cloths for washing your dishes. In our hall closet, we have a, a pretty good sized stack of folded up rags that we just made from things that had gotten too worn out to donate and too worn out to upcycle into something functional. So we have a stack of folded up rags that we use for all of our cleaning purposes. We don't use paper towels anymore um, or cloth napkins. We just have rags and then we have our napkins and tea towels separate. Okay, number nine is to donate your gently used clothes to a secondhand store. Now you have to remember that if it is in a condition that you wouldn't want to buy it, no one else is going to want to buy it either. But if it's something that is still has some life left in it and somebody else will probably enjoy it, get some use out of it, you could donate it to your local thrift store. 
You do need to remember that if your donation to a thrift store doesn't end up selling, it will probably end up in a landfill. So really be thoughtful about what you choose to donate. There are some estimates that up to 20% to 75% of donated clothes and other textiles end up in the trash because they just can't be sold. So don't donate something that you're not confident can be resold. Number 10 on my list of how to avoid textile waste and keep your textiles out of the landfill is to compost it as a very last resort if it's 100% all natural fiber. So it needs to be 100% cotton or hemp or wool in order to be composted. And you need to make sure to remove any buttons or zippers or even some thread is not actually all natural. So make sure you remove any non-compostable features from whatever it is you're going to compost. We'll end up composting um, fabric that's 100% natural after we've used it and it's not really working as a rag anymore. Maybe it's gotten really small and worn out and then we tend to cut it up into smaller pieces and put it in our compost and it'll break down with all of our vegetable scraps and yard trimmings. Well, there's my list of the top 10 ways to keep textiles out of the landfill. I really hope it's helpful to you. I also have a blog post with this information over on my website, so I'm gonna link to that below in case you wanna check that out. I have lots of other videos for zero waste living tips as well as zero waste sewing tutorials. So check those out. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the No Trace channel to get notified about all of my new videos. I put out a new video every week, so I'll see you again very soon.